Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Emily Waltz and this is my vlog where I will be discussing vintage aesthetic, history, art, soap making, and anything that comes up in my life. So today we're going to be making a 1920s style hairpiece, a crystal brooch that will sit on the side of your head just like this. And uh, it's for an engagement shoot that we're doing in three days, so I really need to get started on this project. I'm very excited. It's a vintage 1920s theme, and I will show you every step of the way. Here are the gorgeous materials that I've collected to work with. And I think that's the reason that I put this off so long is because when you have this nice of materials you're a little scared to cut into them and work with them but here I have an, a vintage brooch a lot of them I bought and one on eBay auctions online and some I think this is a reproduction brooch and this looks like a little grape leaf um, I actually have an applique here that is pretty elaborate. An applique is something that you can iron down or glue down to fabric. But in this case, I'm going to cut it about here to make this nice little headpiece that just curls around one side of your head. So what I have to do now is just figure out where I'm going to place my vintage brooches and I was looking at maybe a configuration like that and this one needs to be down a little more and I'm just gonna cut cut it right there and it'll be a hair accessory that you can just wear on the side one side of your head these are a couple pieces that I've already made and as you can see, what I've done here is added um, some fabric to the back, some felt fabric, and hot glued a hair barrette. So I'm going to be doing something similar here. I'm going to add fabric to the back. do is cut my applique and I have my really good fabric scissors. It's important you have good scissors if you're going to do this. And this is the most nerve-wracking part. But I'm going to go around this little bead edge and try not to cut into the threading where the beads are. But yeah, this is the part that I've put off. I think I'm ready to do it. So there we go. There's my basic shape. And I'm going to get started with putting the brooches on. So here I have my applique on a piece of fabric. And I'm just going to take some sewing pins and hold it in place. Just a couple of them. Just like that. I'm going to cut around the shape as closely as I can with my fabric scissors. As you can see here, I've still got my pins in and I cut it out pretty close to the edges, not exactly. I even went a little deeper in because you don't want to be able to see the fabric on the underside. So here you go, you can't even tell there's the fabric there. I'm going to take the pins out and hot glue the two pieces together. I have my two pieces here separated and what I'm going to do is just add hot glue all around the middle and up on the edges and just put the piece in place. Be very careful got a little on my finger. Hot glue is very, very hot. The next most exciting step is to put the brooches in place. And what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to use the pins on the back to attach through the applique. I have attached the brooches and now you really need to look at this, try it on and figure out where you would like it to sit in your hair and that will determine what angle you will attach your hair clip. So I usually would hot glue these brooches down but I like to say stay flexible because some of them were antique pieces and you never know one day I may want to take one of the brooches off. So really your task is now is just to figure out how you're going to wear it. That's one way that it would look unique. You can flip it the other direction and wear it like that. Or if I turn to the other side and have an interesting little curled look just like this. This was such a heavy piece that I've actually decided to put two of the hair clips on there to make it really secure on your hair. And uh, I'll start by putting a little bit of hot glue on the back side of these and placing them. Okay, there's the hot glue on the back side. I'm just going to put it in a nice hidden spot on the brooch and hold it down and let it dry. I'll show you how to put another securing piece of fabric in the middle of the brooch. Here is a sneak peek of one of my outfits for the photo shoot next week and I'm pretty pleased with the way the hairpin turned out. I've been wanting to do this forever. So next week I will show you how we put together two outfits each 1920s themed and I hope to see you then. If you enjoyed today's content like and subscribe for more.